always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosalind, I presume? I don't know what I was going for for that. <laughs> Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? What? Wow. Um, I forget who this character was. Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose Johnny... I, I, I suppose this Johnny is our main. Johnny? Listen, if the kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. This creepy music is being housed right now. I don't like it. Come on, grab the case and let's go. I completely lost her voice. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Received equipment. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Go upstairs? Well, yeah. Yes. Okay, they're gone! Whoever gets there first gets to play with Melody! <coughs> no fair! You pushed me! Did not! Whatever! You get the boring two notes anyway! Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteor. Yeah, yeah, come on. Uh, let's talk to you. Ready to set up? Uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. Yes, it'll just be a moment. I don't know who I am, but this is my voice. I am Dr. Rosalind. I am Dr. Rosalind. I don't know. I got nothing. Alright. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. Oh, crap. Standard procedures. Just keeping you on your toes. Ooh, what is this? How's he doing? Not so well, if I were to say. He's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we've always succeeded, and we're always awesome. Because we're always awesome, we've always succeeded. Because we're succeeded, we're always awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier and crazier, huh? So, can you do it? Depends. She went to say yes. <laughs> Why don't you tell us about our client here? That's... I don't really know much. 
Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as hard as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for pizza. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you want to look around the house, you want to find some more info. I suppose Johnny would find some time for you to. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Uh, I'm better at Watts' voice. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. Not the Disney version, just the regular high school. I remember you put. I remember you playing Watson. Meh, same thing. I mean, they're both really kind of, you know, whatever. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. She's Southern and British, and she's... I can't, like, get between the two of them. A selection of readings from medical journals. Uh, was he a... was he a doctor? He has two beds in his room, that's weird. Or maybe that's where, uh, what's-her-name sleeps, Lily. Anything in here? Nope. Okay, what's down here? Painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. A painting of an animal of some sort. A casual painting of three people. Ah, ah, ah. Alright, let's go in there. Around the sciencey machine and into the thing and... Bathroom! Oh, great. How much can you find out about a person from their bathroom? No. Light. Nothing in here worth anything. There's a hand motion. Why is there a hand motion? Ah, oh, well. That makes sense! Get out of the upstairs. Let's go talk to the children. Children know more about everything. They're smart. Wait! Come back here for a moment. I have something for you. What, doctor? Are you, I don't even know if you're a girl or a boy. You look like a girl. I might have the voice wrong for you. Here! Take this! Or you're just a really old doctor. Uh, receive remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. Oh. <laughs> I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. <laughs> okay, that was the thing that was on the top when I was looking at the menu. I like, no patient information, blah, 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 blah. Talk to me, kids. What you want? Hey, Ma told me to sh told you, told me to told you to show me around the house of this. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. All right, let's talk. What do you want? To know? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom's hide from us. Yeah, or that. What? There's a giant candy cane on one top of high shelf that we can't reach. The candy's kissing. Mom pushes there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Sure, I'll get it for you. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again, or I'd just tell your mother. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go! Brat child. It's almost like some kind of a terrible quest to get my night started. Okay, um... Kitchen. I'm guessing this is kitchen. 
There's that candy game. This doesn't look like a kitchen. It looks like an office. Come on, Watts. There we go. See? You're smart. <laughs> Booyah! It's like taking candy from an inanimate baby and then giving it to two smaller children. Smaller than me, not the inanimate baby. They're probably larger than the inanimate baby, but not by much. All right, kiddos, I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. All right, where do we start? I know. There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Okay. Yeah, same, same. Oh, there's a uh, study. Let's try this one. Are you a study? This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book in the upper shelf. Hiding place if you know exactly where it is. Uh, read. Yes. Kids, let's go. Let's go to the weird room. Weird stuff happens. We can open the funny room in the basement now! This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Alright. Guessing this is the funny room? Doesn't seem very humorous to me. Let's go.